Well, I wanted to work on my witty here and uh, work on the new head gasket I was going to make. And I took the head off and last time I tried to start it was a couple months ago. And it was all uh, getting water in the bore. So I said, screw it, I'm going to stop. And now the freaking bore is all full of rust and the thing is seized up. So, But uh, these holes on the bottom here are all full of crap. And I don't know how deep this water jacket hole is supposed to go, but uh, it's all full of gunk. It's like oily dirt. The sides are pretty nasty. Uh, I don't know if these like rings on here, these grooves are part of the casting or if that's part of the old gasket, but I basically am screwed with this gasket here. This is the head here. Both the valves were rusted shut. Really, really pathetic, you know? Um, I guess there's not really much of a gasket left on there at all. Just these little bits of crap here. And I gotta get this off and uh, make a new gasket. That's my goal here, so. And then hopefully, just hopefully, it ain't gonna leak water into the bore when I put in uh, some water in the hopper again, you know? So I really wanted to bring it to a tractor show in about two weeks, which is the show that I got it at originally. And I thought it'd be really cool if I could have it there operational and the guy that sold it to me might see it. I would really like that. Well, I'm gonna to try to make a head gasket and trace this paper on here and uh, like Road King did in his video. We'll see what we can do. All right, so I traced it onto the pattern here, and uh, this is what I came out with. So now I got to uh, basically uh, cut this out and then trace this onto the gasket material, and we'll see what we got. Well, this is the first time I've made a video at the kitchen table, but I got it all cut out. I'm going to use these hollow punches here to do the four head bolts. And then we'll transfer it on the gasket and cut it out. Well, I didn't cut out all the four bolt holes yet, but look at that. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm going to take this and trace it onto my uh, gasket material now. And we'll go from there. Okay, so I got the template here traced onto my uh, Felpro uh, paper here. It's called Felpro 2499. And there's like a metal inside of this. It's almost like it's cardboard on the outside, but I was able to cut the uh, the outside diameter here with a pair of tin snips. And someone was telling me to use a Dremel tool with a straight cutting bit to do the inside. It's like a spiral carbide cutter. So I'm going to try it. And uh, I don't know. It seems like it's going to be tough, but I'm going to give it a shot. This is the bit that I'm going to use. It's just a spiral cutter. So I'll put that in the tool and I'll see if I can plunge in there and kind of do it like it's a router and route it out yeah well that was not fun geez there's all that metal in there and it just hits it and it starts freaking out and kicking back and everything but i got the first hole done it looks like crap though it's all like torn and shit but i don't think that really matters because i mean i can try to clean it up maybe with some sandpaper or something later or maybe just the uh, utility knife but i'm gonna actually try to cut one of these with the utility knife on the paper i realize that i can't cut the metal with the utility knife but i'm gonna give it a shot anyways wow what a pain in the butt i ended up using the uh just the abrasive cutoff wheel tool and was able to kind of get these straight lines here without destroying it with that freaking rotary cutter so what i'm going to do is actually use a uh, wood chisel here and just chisel off these square ends i know i'm going through metal with a wood chisel but what what am i else am i going to do right so we'll go for it okay well the chisel actually worked really good i probably could have just chiseled out the whole thing to begin with it would have been a lot easier but trying to use this hollow punch thingy here and it won't go through the metal so that's not going to work kind of thinking that maybe i can take a drill bit to it or something 
one that I could put this on the head and just like uh, use a drill bit to drill through it, maybe a half inch drill bit. I don't know what else to do, you know, but uh, we'll figure it out. Well, I ended up using the chisel to cut out the things. They look more like octagons instead of circles, but it should work. Well, here's the final product. It looks good. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim a little hair up here, right where it goes in the spark plug hole. But, uh, yeah, it, it seems to line up really good. And, uh, you know, hopefully this will uh, seal up that head and prevent water from getting into the stupid bore. And you remember my head gasket that I made and these pieces here. I'm wondering if uh, if I screwed up there and those should be cut all the way through. And when I look at the head, you know, it's flat across there. But when I look at the actual head, I'm, I'm sorry, the cylinder, it's a gap across that whole area. So it's very hard for me to tell if the gasket was supposed to be like this or just be open that whole way. And, uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to try it like I have it here because there is a machined surface all the way across that center. Just not sure if that's right or not. But I guess we'll find out when I get it running. And this thing is really flaky. I got to try to clean this up a little bit. That metal is so hard to deal with. I'm going to take a hammer and tap down around everywhere I cut because there's kind of a little ridge around there. It's not the prettiest looking thing in the world, but... Hopefully we can get it to work, you know, so. All right, 